Are you new to AI art and want to learn how to generate your own images for your craft projects? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Shree here with Pretty Party and Crafty and we're going to jump right into how you can create AI art using Mid Journey as a crafter. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have an account with Discord. So you can go to discord.com and just make sure you create an account. And then next you want to go to midjourney.com. I'll have these links in the description, midjourney.com, and it's going to redirect you to this page. And what you wanna do is click join the beta. Then I'm gonna click accept invite. And because I was already signed into my Discord, it took me right to this page. So what you want to do once you have Discord, if you're not brought to this page, you're going to make sure that you are in the correct server. So the server is this boat with its sail, and this is Mint Journey. So you'll make sure that that's clicked. And the first page that it will take you to is the announcements page. So you can look at this and it has a lot of different information. You can click on recent changes, rules, FAQs, getting started, welcome. All right, I'm going to start using the free version of this and then you'll see how it looks when I upgrade to the paid version. Because we're just getting started and because we're beginners, we want to make sure that we go into one of these newcomer rooms. And I'm just going to click on Newbies 159. So they have different rooms. It doesn't matter which one you click on. And you'll be taken into a room. And it's almost, it looks like a forum. And so you can see what other people are creating and what they're doing. Okay. And I'm just going to show you an example of what something somebody created. So right here at the bottom, this is where you're going to type your description. But before we type our description, I want to make sure that you understand what you'll be seeing. So for example, this person typed in bald, pale, green skin, giant. They put realistic, high quality, 4K, high detail. So you can be as descriptive as you want to get yourself better results. And then this or these four are the images that it created. Okay, and then below the image, you see the U1, U2, U3, U4, and you also see V1, V2, V3, V4, and then finally you see this reload button. So let's say that you like picture number four. If you like this as is and you want to get a high quality image of it, what you would do is click U4 and it'll generate a single image of just that picture at a higher scale. So you just means upscale, all right? If you wanted picture number one, you liked it exactly as is, and you want a larger version of it, you would click U1, and the computer will generate an upscaled version of it. Okay, let's say you like the pose of picture three, okay, because this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. You like the pose of picture three, but you don't like it as it is. You want to see variations of it. Well, what you could do is click V3 and it will give you different variations of this picture, so if you don't like it exactly as it is, you can click on V1, V2, V3, V4 for variations of that image. And if you don't like any of these, you will click the rerun button so it can redo it. Okay, so let's get started. We'll try to create our own. So we'll come down here to the message bar and we're gonna click backslash and then you want to type in imagine. Okay, now it will automatically pop up for you. And then it'll say prompt. And this is where you're going to describe what you want to see. So I'm going to type smiling. Um, African American 
mermaid with curly hair. Um, and I'm gonna type, do I want it to be anime? I'll put anime. And I hit enter. Now, because we're in the free version, we do have to wait for it to load. So it says what I put in and it's saying it's waiting to start. So right now, we're waiting for it to generate. So while it's generating, you can scroll through and see what everyone else is doing. But just keep in mind when yours is done generating, it's gonna populate at the bottom. So to get to your design, you have to make sure that you're at the bottom of the feed because that's where the newly generated will go to at the end. All right, so ours is finished. This is what it, it generated. So I will just click it. Okay, and this is what it gave me. It looks really good. So if you like it as is, um, if you want to save four of them at the same time, you can just right click and put save image as, or maybe you want only want to upscale. So let me click back on it. Let's say I like this one right here. So that is picture number three and I can upscale that. So let me click on U3 and it's going to upscale that picture so I can download it to my computer and save it. Again, just scrolling down so you can see what other people are creating. Okay, so right now it says that it's upscaling image number three and it's waiting for it to start. Remember to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom because when it generates the new image, it's gonna come in as a new post. So make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom. So it just generated my upscale version. So I'm gonna click on it. That's the upscaled version. If you want to, you can open it in a separate browser. And again, you can just right click, hit save image as, and I'm just gonna name this mermaid. Hey, and if you can, well, you can see that I've been playing around with this. These are some of the images that I created here, just playing around. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Discord. I'm gonna click off of that, and I'm gonna do it again because you just saw an adult version of the mermaid and it, it was a specific term that I used to get the childlike mermaids and the childlike images and I'm going to show you what that term is. So when we go to the message bar, we're going to hit backspace and imagine. We're going to put um, chibi, chibi girl smiling with long blonde hair, blue eyes, boho style. And then I'm gonna put full body shown. Okay, so. <laughs> I guess I used all of my stuff. So it says, um, your free trial has come to an end. So that's, I guess that's what happens when your trial comes to an end. Let me read it. So your free, so your free trial has come to an end. Please consider subscribing to one of our plans to view more details. Use the subscribe. Okay. So I decided to do it. So go to the message bar and do backslash subscribe and then it'll populate a message with a link for you to join or to subscribe. And then I just click on the open subscription page link for myself. All right, so let's look at the plan. So you have three plans. You have the $8 a month plan that's billed yearly. Um, you can generate images. Um, I think that's 200 minutes per month and you have access to other members' galleries, and you have three concurrent fast jobs. So that's the basic plan. Then you have your standard plan. It's $24 a month billed yearly. Um, the month to month, that's $30, I believe. Um, the difference between this and basic, instead of 200 minutes per month, 
you have 15 hours of fast generation, and you also have unlimited generations. That means you can create or generate an unlimited number of graphics. Um, so that's the main difference between the basic plan and the standard plan. If you're doing this for a business, I definitely think the standard plan would be your best bet. Um, last is the pro plan. The pro plan is the most expensive, but it gives you um, longer hours. It's double, so you have 30 hours of fast generations. Again, you have unlimited relaxed generations. That means you can produce as many as you want. But the key difference between the pro plan and the standard plan, besides double the um, hours, is they have a stealth image generation. And stealth image generation, that basically means that you can hide your images from other members. Because with basic and standard, your images that you create, other members can see what you've generated and they can see the prompts that you put in. But with the pro plan, you can do stealth and it will hide your prompts and it will hide your images from other members. So... I'm going to buy the plan so you don't have to so we can see what it's lo it's looking like. I'm I'm going to go with the basic. Once you subscribe, you'll go back to Discord and sign in and you're going to click on the Mid Journey bot. That's the top left. It's the sale with the um, number on it. It was the top one. So this is going to allow us to chat directly with the Mid Journey bot. So again, you're clicking on Mid Journey with the sale and you're direct messaging it. And this way we can put our prompts within the messages directly with the bot and we don't have to get distracted in that newbie room. But just like before, we're adding our prompt to the message, so backslash imagine, and I'm putting chibi blonde girl, long hair, blue eyes, boho style, and I'm gonna make sure I add smiling. Okay, and it says it's waiting for it to generate. All right, so after it generated this image, I realized I wanted a full body. So I just copied the text and pasted it in the message box, but I forgot to put backslash imagine. So if you do that, nothing will happen. Make sure you press backslash imagine. So if we click on it, that is the image that it generated for us. So again, you can definitely give more detail. We could do variations. So let's say you liked number two, but you want variations of number two, or maybe you liked number three. So if we say we want variations of this third one, we can click V3 because we're telling it we like this one, but we wanna see it variations of it. And if we click on it, it just gave us slight variations of our design. The possibilities are truly endless with AI art. You could do a Candyland background for a backdrop or party favors. You could do under the sea backgrounds for invitations. You could do stickers. So if you learned something new, make sure you subscribe, like, follow for more, comment later y'all.